IV Bridge Group, and I'm recording Jason on March 6th of 2015. So, uh, Jason, can you please tell us your Chinese name? Okay, my Chinese name is Liu Jiazheng. And you prefer to be called Jason as your, your English name, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And, um, Jason, what grade are you in and what grade are you applying for? Um, I'm in grade 9 now, and I'm applying for grade 9. Oh, okay. And then, what is your date of birth? Uh, it's 2000 and January 22nd. January 22nd of the year 2000? Yes. Okay. And, uh, Jason, can you tell me, did you, have you taken any exams like the SLEP or the TOEFL or the SSAT? Uh, I have taken TOEFL and SSAT tests. Do you happen to remember your score on those tests? Um, my TOEFL school, uh, score, the top score is 79 and my SSAT score is, um, I think is uh, 19,000. Okay. And then you don't happen to know, it's okay if you don't, but you don't happen to know your GPA at school, your grade point average? Um, um, I didn't remember my GPA at school, but I think it's, uh, it's cool. Okay. That's good enough for me then. Okay. Well, thanks, Jason. So those are just the things for the record. But now I'm going to ask you, uh, now we're actually starting part one of the interview. I'm going to ask you a few personal questions uh, okay. and a few academic questions and a few questions about your life, okay? Okay. Um, so first off, we'll start with some of the fun stuff. Can you tell me something that you enjoy uh, about the extracurricular activities at your school? Mm, there's many activities at my school, and uh, I really like playing basketball with my classmates. Um, and sometimes there's uh, still some class meeting, and uh, I like to go for it. So you like basketball and class meetings? Yeah. Those are very different, but they're also kind of similar. Why do you like them both so much? Um, I, I like, well, I like basketball because um, uh, many students in China like basketball, and we can always play it after school, and uh, we enjoy a very happy time after school. And the class meeting is uh, about now uh, because I'm the monitor of my class and the class leader, so I have always have to uh, organize it and lead my uh, classmates together to have this class meeting. Oh, okay. What? Um, so you said you're you're the leader for your class meetings, but what position do you play in basketball? Um, I'm not sure. I can play all the, all the, all the, what, all the places. Yeah. But. Is there one place or one uh, position that you like more? Um, I don't think so. Um, I, I play basketball just for fun. Hmm. I don't... Are you, uh... How tall are you? Are you a tall guy, or are you kind of average, or...? Um, I think I'm the middle size. Oh, mid-size. Is it tough playing with taller guys, or...? Uh, uh, there's many tall guys in my school. Yeah. How do you, uh, how do you play against taller guys? Do you have a strategy? Uh, yes. I think shoot is the uh, uh, best for the tall guys. Oh, so so you try and shoot around them. Yeah. You know what you can try too? You step on their foot when the referee doesn't look. That, that was a joke. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't, I'm sorry, you just can't do that. That was a bad joke. Um, well, so that's something fun at school you like. Can you tell me um, what's, your, uh, what's your least favorite subject at school? 
I think um, my subjects are all good, but I think the Chinese is a little bit hard for me. Really? Chinese is hard for you? Um, the Chinese, this subject is very hard because, because Chinese, uh, because of its long history, and there's many things for me to recite every day, and it's made me very tired. Oh, but you know, your English is pretty good, so do you just, why do you think you have difficulty with, with Chinese? Why do you get so tired? Um, I don't have difficulty in reading or speaking in Chinese, but um, this subject is uh, difficult, the different from this things is very difficult, I think. Um, I always can't do the uh, uh, questions well in the exams. Oh, okay. Well, what, what is a subject that you're really good at at school? What do you think? Um, I think uh, math is my best subject. Math? Why Why are you so good at math? So, I think math um, is very interesting. Um, and um, I always feel the sense of uh, accomplishment when I find a way to solve the hard problems in math. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And the teachers, uh, the math teacher is uh, always very fun in class. It's very humorous in class. Oh, that's good. Do you like do you like teachers that are more humorous, or do you like teachers that are kind of straight and focused, or what's your style of teacher? Um, I think I like both of them because it's uh, humorous teachers should. Uh, be on class and like the uh, let me learn well on class and street street teacher should uh, streak on me and let me do the homework on time. Ah. I think it's. <laughs> do you think do you think it's good to have like a strict person that's kind of watching out for your schedule? Um, I really need that person um with me. I think. Um, it's uh, necessary to have a guy to um, let me do some homework or something mm -hmm. important on time. All right. So do you do you sometimes have trouble like finishing tasks on time and keeping your schedule straight? Um, yes, uh, it may have some problem. Oh. Uh, there's too many tasks uh, in one day. Oh. Um, some tests on tomorrow. Yeah, that can be really difficult. When I know that um, in China, you guys take a lot of uh, classes, and you take a, you have a lot of tests, and it's probably hard to keep all that straight. Yeah. Um. Well, tell me about um. That's school time, and but what do you like to do in your free time? So I know if you had no classes today, you would have slept until ten. But then, what would you do when you wake up at 10 o'clock and you have no class? What do you do? Okay, so um, uh, I'm grade 9 now, in the, I think it's middle school, and I'm going to uh, get into the high school. So, uh, in China, we have a test, and this test is very important for us to get into the Chinese high school, but I don't have to get into the Chinese high school, mm -hmm. so I don't have to take it, but I want to take it to improve myself, so it's very um, it's very hard for me, so I have to work hard on my homework and every subject to make sure that my test is well. Um, and I think I should also improve my English during this time uh, when I'm free and I also like to dance in my free time. Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about dance then. So what kind of dance do you mean? Um, the, I think it's dance uh, is kind of, one of my hobby and I learned it at about grade 7 in my school now. And uh, I think this 
uh, I learned this in a club, and this club I think is unique in my city. So uh, this club is a dance club, of, of course, and it's just for boys uh, in middle school. And I joined it and learned, learned my dance there. And uh, the kind of dance is uh, very, uh, there's a lot of kind of dance, uh, like um, the Chinese traditional dance, and I learned a, a little bit about the street dance, and uh, that's all. What is your, that's pretty cool, so you do traditional dance, and then you do more contemporary dance, right, like street dancing. What, yeah. What's your favorite? Um, okay, I think my favorite is street dance, and uh, I also like the Chinese folk dance. Oh, that's cool. What, what is it about? Um, they're they're very different, though, don't you think? Or are they similar? Um, it's very different. Yeah. It's two kind of dance. How how are they different? How do you use? What's different about maybe the way you use your body or the sound or the speed? Um. So first. Firstly, the I think the Chinese folk dance is the people all over the world um, who use this dance to celebrate uh, some festivals. So it's uh, make me very happy. And street dance, I think mm, uh, every single uh, work is very. Uh, I don't know how to say that. I think is uh, just uh, I think street dance just make me very happy when I dance it. Oh, that's great! And so, um, what do you want to do? Do you want to? So, is dancing just something you do for fun, or do you hope to develop it in the future? Um, of course, I want to develop it because my dance is not very, very good, I think, because uh, <laughs> I learned it very late oh. at grade 7. Uh, I just learned it for two years. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, I want to develop it, and uh, it's, of course, my hobbies um, in the future. Well, what do you think... Um, so we, we talked a little bit about your favorite subjects and least favorite subjects and hobbies and what what do you want to do um, with your with your life like what do you want to study at school and then go on to do after school so um, so my task now is to get into a high school in America and get the education there and uh, I will stay there for four years at the high school in America and I need to adapt the education in America and learn the learn a lot of things. Then I have to um, choose. I think I have to choose my major and prepare for going to the college. So, what do you think? Um, do you have any idea in your head what major you might want to study? Uh, uh, I don't have an idea now. It's uh, I think I will choose it in the future when I grow up. Okay, yeah, that seems like a safe... I think that's a that's a smart answer. Um, what are some things that you, you see... So I'm going to ask you a question that forces you to use your imagination. In 10 years, after after you've graduated college or university, what do you see yourself doing? Okay. Mm, in 10 years, um, I think I should grow up and I should be taller. And, <laughs> okay. And I, I should have a lot... Uh, I should... I think I should be very knowledgeable in the future. Because uh, after ten years, I have uh, learned a lot of knowledge and uh, touched a lot of things. I should know a lot, and 
uh, I think I should wear a suit and uh, very high, handsome. <laughs> You're and, already very handsome. Don't you worry. Okay, thank you. And <laughs> I think I should prepare for an interview for my job in the future. Oh, yeah. Very good answer, right? So the interviews never stop. Uh, yes, the interview. <laughs> yeah, they never stop. Um, so then, um, tell me a little something about uh, something that challenges you in your daily life. So I know that you like basketball and you're the leader of your class meetings and you enjoy dance and um, you enjoy math. What's something that challenges you in your daily life and how do you deal with it? Mm, so there's many problems in one's life. Um, it's the same for me, and um, the problem may be uh, different. In math, my problem may be some math questions that I can't solve. Um, so if I make this uh, this problem, I will um, sometimes I will search the problem online or ask ask my classmates, um, that's it, and uh, sometimes uh, basketball, I will not play it well, sometimes, you know, uh, I can't shoot in the ball, mm -hmm. so I have to practice more in my daily life. How do you, um, when you have difficulty accomplishing something, when you fail at something, how do you handle that? What do you do? Uh, I think, uh, of course, I will feel sad at first, and I have to find some way to uh, to solve this problem. I have to do some uh, some of my interests. I think it's pretty good to uh, release my burden, like uh, listening to the music or playing the piano or uh, dance. Uh, I think that is. That's good. Yeah, I think that that's that's a good way of dealing with it. Um, now I have a I have a very difficult question for you. Now you're gonna be it's gonna make you scared and nervous. So just be calm. I, I'm just kidding. It's not it's not that bad. Um, can you tell me something surprising about yourself? So what is something that I wouldn't expect from you? Or what is something that when you walk down the street and people look at you, what is something about yourself that would surprise them if you told them? So, the thing that I have to surprise people? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, I have already got an idea and I think if I can dance well and show show up in my class and um, and of course I think my classmates will cheer for me. I think it's the best. Um, I think it will surprise him because um, uh, they uh, not often see my dance and I want to dance in front of him and show them. That's great. Yeah, I, I think that's really good. So is dance a really important thing to you? Yeah, uh, at first it's not, but after learning it, I feel, um, I, I think it's very important for me. Yeah. Ha has it like kind of changed your life or made your life different? Yeah, uh, dan I think dance really changed me. Uh, it makes me have a um, very strong body mm -hmm. and um, and I learned how to through the hard time because uh, you know dance is very hard, uh, especially for for me because um, I learned it late late in my life, so it's hard. And I think it's also I I had just tell you it helped me to release my burden. Oh uh, right. I, uh, if I have hard time, I have I can just dance. And it's also very, I think it can show up in, a, in, my, uh, in people's 
in people, and I think it's very nice. That's great. It's good to have something like that. Um, so, Jason, can you tell me? Um, can you tell me something that a quality about yourself that you think is a strength? Uh, my quality. Yeah. That is mm, something that's strong. I um, I think I'm very friendly, of course. Um, I'm friendly to my friends. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit outgoing, and I can make friends every time. And I, I think friends is very important for people. Do you have a lot I, of friends at school? I have a lot of friends at school, and I, I think uh, every my classmates is my friend. They are all very friendly to me because I'm friendly to them. That's good. I think that's a good quality for somebody that... I mean, obviously, if you're the leader of your class meetings, you, you have to be kind of liked by everyone, and you have to like many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to feel sad when you leave all your friends and come to the United States? Um, I will feel sad. I will miss them. Uh, they are my best friend uh, here because uh, they uh, stay with me through three years at middle school in China. Yeah. And uh, we always play basketball. I will remember this. Have you told them that you're you're planning on coming to America? Uh, yes, um, I have told them. Do they, are they excited or are they uh, sad or how do they feel? Mm, uh, I think um, we, uh, of course, we are best friends. They will miss me in the future. And uh, I think if I don't come to America, uh, we still need to apart from each other because, uh, because the task I have just told you in China, uh, we have to through this Thai wow. test to get into different high school. Um, we, uh, it's just like uh, going to America. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so one of your strengths is your friendliness. And uh, what is one of your weaknesses? What do you think is something you need to improve? Okay. Um, yeah, my weakness, I think there's many weaknesses for me. <laughs> um, and so I think the biggest weakness is the time management. Uh. Um, I think sometimes I can't manage the time well. Um, and that lead to my my task can't be finished on time. Uh, sometimes some task has to put off. Uh, I don't think it's a good thing. Uh, uh, although it's very uh, too many tasks for me, but I think I have to use the time. Uh, uh, I think I have to use time. Uh, yes, use time very well. Do you um, so do you have trouble like managing your time or making schedules and things like that? Ah uh, yeah. Yeah. That is a tough thing. Do you do you work better with teachers that are strict or teachers that give you a lot of space? Hmm. I think I work well with the teacher that give me a lot of uh, space. Oh. Yes. Um. Uh. This kind of. A teacher um, well, is well, um, and they can know better at you than the street teacher. Mm. Uh, they know who you are and your uh, character, uh, 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 chapter, uh, what's, what's that? <laughs> I think you're right, uh, character. Yeah, they know your uh, character. character. And uh, and they, they know what you should do at your subjects, and... And I think the street teacher just ask you what to do, but they don't know you well, and they can uh, give you a schedule for you learning. Oh, that's an interesting idea. So you're saying that a strict teacher is so wrapped up in the rules that they don't get to know the student and allow the student to be themselves? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So is that... Is that one of the reasons you want to come to the U.S.? Do you think the teachers are more like that here? Yeah, 
uh, I think it's one of the reasons. Uh, because I have taken a uh, summer camp in America, um, and it's a great experience. Um, I have taken some classes there, and I feel that the uh, American teachers are very friendly to their students, mm -hmm. and their class is also very inter interesting and funny. Uh, yes, I think this one of the reason that I want to study in America. Oh, okay. What what gave you the first idea that you wanted to come to America? When when did you start thinking about it? Did your mom and dad suggest it, or was it your idea, or a friend, or? Um, it's because of my classmates. Um, um, many of my classmates in China all uh gone to America. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes, they all gone to America and they studied there already. Oh. Why, um, you're mostly interested in the East Coast, is that right? Ah, uh, yes. Why, why so interested in the East Coast? Um, I think the, uh, I think there, the East Coast has a very good study environment. And I think I can get, uh, well education there and I can also learn well. What do you... What do you hope to get out of your school? What do you hope your school can give to you? Or um, I think uh, the school should, uh, school's teachers should be very good. Uh, that's the uh, first place. And the, um, uh, I think the school should also give me um, some clubs that for my hobbies, like basketball, of course they would have a basketball course, and uh, uh, I think they should also have a dance club, I think. Oh, so let me ask you, um, you mentioned that you weren't quite sure what you wanted to study at college, so does that mean you're looking for a school that has a lot of different things, so you can test different things? Uh, yes, I, I think it's also very important. If I have time, I will try uh, more things. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, um, just to get back to talking about about you again, um, can you tell me who is who is someone that has influenced you in your life? Can you can you tell me? Is there anybody that had a big influence on you? Mm, um, I think the. Uh, a teacher is uh, influenced me the most, and that teacher is my dance teacher in the club. Mm, and this person, um, this teacher is, uh, uh, is a woman, and she always teaches us how to dance. And not only that, but also uh, she tells us about our future and what we should do to use our dance in the future. And um, I think she's a little bit strict, but sometimes she, she becomes very humorous. Oh. Yes, yeah, so she's very changeable, and uh, that's what I like. Um, do you want to be like her in some ways? Do you want to maybe... Um does she, do you think she sets a good example for you? Do you want to be like her? Yes, um, I like uh, I like to be like the person like her. Okay, well, um, that's um, that's something about what you wanted from the school. But can you tell me what do you think you'll contribute to the community at the school? What do you think? Mm. What will you bring? So what I can contribute to the school? Yeah. Mm, I think uh, my dance and the piano can contribute to the school mm -hmm. because uh, it's it's my hobbies, and I my basketball is also very good, and I think my grades in the school in the future um, would be very good because um, I ha I'm very confident for that. Okay. Well, um, Jason, thank you, thank you very much for for that was uh, that was part one. Thank you for your answers. Now, are you ready for part two?
Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Are you scared? A little bit. No. Uh, don't, I don't. Have questions. Can I, can I ask you? Yeah, that? please, go ahead. Um, so, uh, you said that you have uh, you will send them an uh, uh, essay to me yep. and I have to read it, yep. right? Uh, what do you mean read it? Read out <laughs> loud or just read? You're going to you're gonna read it out loud. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to be listening for and what the schools are going to be listening for is your pronunciation and your intonation and your understanding. So let me... Let me do this. I'm going to send I'm going to send it to you um, in the Skype dialog box. Um, do you see it? I just sent it. Yeah, I, I see it. So it starts with it says Jack London story. So what I'd like you to do is use your best English voice to read this excerpt out loud. And then I'm going to ask you a couple questions at the end, okay? Mm, okay. Okay, so give it a try. Okay, I will start. Um, Jack London's story, Call of the World, tells of da a box, a dog stolen from California, who is taken to Alaska during the clothing gold rush in the late uh, 1890s. Um, Bugs becomes a sled dog, part of a team that transports supplies and people through the harsh winters. Uh, it was inevitable that a clash for leadership should come. Bug wanted it. He wanted it because it was his nature, because he had been gripped, uh, gripped Tied for that nameless, incomprehensible pride of the tr trial and trace. That pride which holds dogs in the toil to the last gasp, uh, which lures them to die swiftly uh, in the harness and breaks their hearts if they are cut off the harness. This was pride of day. As well, dog. Of so legs has he pulled with all his strings the pride that laid hold of them at break of camp, transforming them from sore and swollen brass into swinging, eager, ambitious creatures. That the pride that spurred them on all day and dropped them at pitch of camp at night letting them fall back into gloomy unrest and discontent. This was the pride of that wore up peace and made them thrash the side dogs who blundered, blundered and uh, shirked in the trees or hid away at harness up time in the morning. Likewise, it was this pride that made him fear in box as possibly dog and were and this was Bugs pride too. Okay. So can you tell me, Jason, I, I just have a very simple question. Um what was this story about? What was this excerpt about? Okay, I think um, it's about, uh, of course, uh, it's about a dog called Buck. Mm -hmm. And uh, where, where this is dog... Where is, go ahead. And this dog want uh, the leadership to be the, want to be the leader. And... Um, and um, and uh, I think this. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you, you summarize it pretty well. It's you're right. It's about Buck, and Buck is the name of the dog, and he wants to be the leader. Um, 
but tell me why why does he want to be the leader and who does he fight with about it? Mm, um, I think. Um, I think this dog is um, isolated or uh, uh, transport to another place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and where is he from? from? Okay. Where is he from? Yeah, so he was stolen. Where was he stolen from? Yeah, uh... Stolen, I think he's stolen from uh, California. Yeah, that's right. Um, and so it says that he wants to be the leader. But why does he want to be the leader? Is there any reason for that that's given in the text? Um, um, in the second paragraph, mm -hmm. it said that it was inevitable that the clash for leadership should come and the bug wanted it. So I think it was the reason for that. Ah, uh, what is uh, it? Oh, oh, and I think the second second is that he wanted it because it was his nature and because he had been gripped tied by that nameless incomprehensible pride of the trail and trace. Yeah, so they're they're talking about pride. Do you know do you know what pride is? Mm, the pride. I think uh I don't know how to explain this word. I think it's just this pride can just make bug feel happy. Yeah, so it's when you feel happy about yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's it's when you feel proud. And you feel proud. So pride is the noun, and then proud is the adjective. Um, so uh, I guess my my next question is, who who is uh, someone he disagrees with or has a fight with later on? So what was the clash for leadership? Who was it with? So he wants to fight with someone, but who? Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's hard to understand. Yeah, but that's okay. So he has a clash with a few other dogs. And um, one of the other dogs was named Dave. Uh, oh, Dave. Yeah. And then another one was named Solex. And then there's Spitz. So the, the dogs are fighting over leadership. Mm, uh, yeah. How about you? Um, you mentioned that you like, you're the leader of class meetings. How do you feel being a leader? Do you feel pride? Do you feel a sense of pride? Mm, I think sometimes I will feel a pride when I organize a class meeting and lead other classmates um, and make them together as mm -hmm. a team. Um, but um, uh, I have to say leadership is, uh, I think it should be fair. If yeah. others have problem or the correct ideas, we have to uh, accept that. Right, yeah. So do you ever have to sort of deal with different ideas, kind of clashing or fighting? Hmm. Fight. I do, I do think fight. No. Uh, fighting is a good way. Okay, that's good. Well, well, Jason, thank you uh, very much. I'm gonna. You're done with your with your interview, so I'm gonna turn off the recording.